Hi everyone, my name is Victoria. I'm the social media contributor to Core and welcome in another episode of Core Academy. One of the most famous parts of Bitcoin is the proof of work consensus mechanism. You might have some questions about how this mechanism functions and how it's related to Core's pioneering concept of delegated proof of work. This will be our focus for today. I will provide you a high-level overview of proof of work, discussing its role in securing various blockchains and how miners can delegate their proof of work to help secure the core chain. So what is proof of work? First, let's discuss what proof of work is. Proof of work is a consensus mechanism used by various blockchains network to secure transactions and create new blocks. It requires miners to complete a certain kind of mathematical task to validate transactions and add them to the blockchain. This is one approach to preventing fraud and ensuring the integrity of the blockchain without the need for a central authority. The primary challenge in proof of work is finding a number called the nonce that produces a hash meeting specific criteria when combined with the block data and passed through a cryptographic hash function. In Bitcoin, an example of such criterion would be producing a hash with at least six leading zeros. This ensures that solving the puzzle requires significant computational effort and energy, as the only way to find the correct nonce is through trial and error, testing billions or even trillions of possibilities. The difficulty of these puzzles is moved up or down based on the total computational power of the network to ensure that the time to find the new block remains consistent, typically around 10 minutes for networks like Bitcoin. When a miner is able to solve the puzzle and contribute a new block to the ledger, they got some of the blockchain's native cryptocurrency in return. This incentivizes miners to put their computational power to use for the network. By requiring substantial computational work to validate transactions and create new blocks, proof of work makes it much too costly for any single entity to manipulate the blockchain this safeguard helped prevent numerous kinds of attack. So what is delegated proof of work? As we just discussed, Bitcoin miners generate hash power to secure the Bitcoin network, validate transactions and earn Bitcoin rewards in order to prevent their rewards out over time. Bitcoin miners often join mining pools, which use all the hash power of all their members to increase their overall chance of mining a Bitcoin block and receiving Bitcoin in return. Well, since the launch of Core Chain, miners have also had the option of delegating hash power to core validators. We'll cover what validators are in the future videos, but you can find more information in our white paper. The link to the white paper is in the description. When a Bitcoin miner wants to delegate proof of work to the core network, it adds data to the Coinbase transaction in the new Bitcoin block. This data tells the core network which core validator the miner wants to delegate to and where the miner wants its core rewards to go. This is done as a Bitcoin block is being mined. So the miners don't have to choose between securing the Bitcoin network and securing the core network. The core chain is strongly aligned with Bitcoin and its consensus mechanism is designed so that a miner can help secure Bitcoin and core at the same time. Once the miner has delegated proof of work to core, the network calculates the total delegated proof of work for each validator by counting the number of blocks that have been delegated to it by Bitcoin miners. This is part of how validators are chosen on the core network, but we'll save that for another video. To wrap up, you should now have a good grasp of proof of work and how it can be delegated to core validators. Make sure to check our previous videos from Core Academy to learn more about the basic Web3 concepts. And if you want to keep learning, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.